natural landscaping plan. And uh, one of the issues that was identified during the, uh, the designing of that plan was uh, stormwater issues and drainage into the ponds, both on the east and west side of the building. Um, and so this grant opportunity for the Illinois Green Infrastructure Grant given out by the Illinois EPA um, came up and we worked in cooperation with the Association of Illinois Soil and Water Conservation Districts to apply for that grant. And the grant was awarded to the association, I think about two years ago. And it takes a lot of time during the design and the implementation to get it up and running and actually on the ground. And we've just recently completed the last components of the project and have it finished. So it started in fall 2012, ended in summer 2013? I believe so. Okay. Um, can you give me like a synopsis like from A to D, like what it might do, like the steps that we talked about earlier? Okay, briefly? sure. Um, the whole concept of green infrastructure is to replace some of what uh, we've traditionally called gray infrastructure, and in this case it's the st uh, stormwater system. And so uh, the in the old sense, the old stormwater systems tried to drain water off and get it into rivers and ponds and streams as quickly as possible. The green infrastructure tries to almost do the exact opposite of that where applicable. So what we've done in this project is we tried to implement steps that could be addressed at all different stages. The first thing we want to do with the green infrastructure is to slow the water down. We don't want to get it off the landscape as quickly as possible. We want to slow it down a little bit and that allows it to evaporate, soak into the soil, be treated by plants. The next thing we want to do is redirect it from the stormwater system. So in this case, um, we have our pervious pavers located next to our stormwater drains. Now we didn't remove the stormwater drains so that they're still present in extreme events when um, you know we need them, they're still there. So we've selectively put blocks of pervious pavement. We have a water collection system underneath those pervious pavers so that uh, the pervious pavers intercept the water on the way to the stormwater drain. It soaks through the pervious pavers into the collection drain and takes them into through piping out into our rain gardens. Once in the rain gardens, that water is soaked up by the soil, evaporated and utilized by the plants in the rain garden. Now, about 70% of all pollutants that wind up in our lakes and streams and ponds come in from stormwater. It's called non-point source pollution, uh, as opposed to point source like factory outlets into ponds and streams. Um, so it's just you know, runoff off the roads and houses and, and, and yards and stuff like that. So um, by redirecting that water into the rain gardens, it allows those excess chemicals and nutrients and pollutants to be uh, treated by the sun, locked up on, in the soil, and uh, utilized by the plants for nutrient sources. 